In today's video, we're going to talk about berberine, what it is, how it works, and how it may actually have benefits for insulin resistance. And we'll also talk about how it compares to a pharmaceutical like metformin. If you're new here, my name is Jose. I am an exercise physiologist that has helped thousands of people lower their blood sugar levels over the past 10 years of my life, and it's very nice to meet you. We have over half a million followers across our social media channels. And the question that we get the most, believe it or not, is what do you think about berberine and how does it compare to metformin? Now, if you're not familiar, metformin is one of the most prescribed drugs around the world for people living with high blood sugar problems. Metformin works by making your cells more sensitive to insulin through a series of mechanisms. When our cells become more sensitive to this hormone, insulin, then blood glucose regulation becomes much easier. So yes, metformin definitely works, but for a lot of people, it comes with many side effects, which include bloating, diarrhea, fatigue, constipation, nausea, and many others. On the other hand, berberine is a natural compound that is found in plants and it may actually also have some benefits for blood sugar regulation. In particular, berberine may be a beneficial alternative for those who are newly diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and are looking to improve their blood sugar values. It's not a prescription drug, and it can be bought over the counter, mostly at any pharmacy or supermarket. And it's said to improve your insulin sensitivity, lower your blood sugar, improve weight loss, but does it really work? And does it come with any side effects? We're going to answer those questions in today's video. Before we go on, if you're ready to take charge of your metabolic health, go ahead and click that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into it. First, we're gonna talk about what berberine is. Then we're gonna talk about how it works for insulin resistance. And then we're gonna talk about any downsides that it may have. And make sure to stick around till the end, because if you do decide to take berberine, I'll go ahead and tell you the most effective way to take it and the most effective dosage according to research. So what is berberine? Berberine is the main active ingredient in the herb Rhizoma coptides. This herb has been used in traditional treatments for hyperglycemia and diabetes due to its hypoglycemic effects. In other words, its ability to reduce your blood sugar levels. Berberine has been used for centuries, and it traces back to the beginnings of Chinese medicine, but modern research has confirmed its health benefits. Berberine improves your HbA1c, fasting blood glucose, and your two-hour postprandial after-meals blood glucose levels. And this research has been done on people living with type 2 diabetes. The higher your blood sugar and the higher your A1C, the greater the effects of berberine. And it seems that people under the age of 60 appear to be more responsive to the effects of berberine. Multiple systematic studies, which are basically studies that examine multiple studies, have found that berberine lowers HbA1C by 0.38 percent, fasting blood glucose by 5.22 milligrams per deciliter, and two-hour postprandial blood glucose by 10.2 milligrams per deciliter. So how does berberine work? Berberine is able to have this effect in your blood sugar due to its insulin sensitizing effects. It works a lot in the same way that metformin does. It basically makes insulin more effective so our cells can uptake more blood sugar. It also decreases the amount of glucose that our liver releases to the bloodstream. And it also slows down the breakdown of carbohydrates in the gut and increases the beneficial bacteria in our guts as well. So the short answer is yes, berberine is an effective supplement for insulin resistance. Now, are there any side effects to berberine? Berberine does come with some side effects, unfortunately. A lot of the side effects that we see in digestion with metformin Unfortunately, we also see in berberine. These include constipation, gas, diarrhea, bloating. And for some people, it can also cause headaches, rashes, nausea. But honestly, it really depends on the individual. 
Some people experience all of the side effects and some people experience none. So if you want to give berberine a try, what is the best way to do it? How to take berberine? Please, first of all, this is not medical advice. So before you add any supplement or anything new to your diet, you have to ask your physician, especially if you're already taking any other medications. And no, please don't stop taking your metformin and replace it for berberine. Always check with your doctor first. Now, as previously stated, berberine is found in plants and then it's made into supplement form. Most supplements out there contain between 500 milligrams to 1500 milligrams of berberine. Most of the studies that I have found on the effectiveness of berberine to lower your blood sugar have used between 1000 to 1500 milligrams of berberine per day. Most people have found that taking berberine before meals is the best way to use it. This is because berberine makes your body more insulin sensitive and it can help your blood sugar response after a meal. I'll go ahead and leave my favorite brand of berberine in the description below. Before wrapping up, I do want to say that one of the most important things that you can do is not rely on any supplement or medication to improve your overall health. It's just a supplement and it will only help you as long as you're taking it. The best thing that you can do is reverse insulin resistance at its root through lifestyle changes. We have tons of videos on the subject of lifestyle change, so make sure that you check out those. We're going to continue posting them here, but for more information, you can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok. We get lots of comments from people who apply our teachings and they actually end up not needing any supplements or medications to achieve perfect blood sugar values. So it's definitely worth checking out all of our content if you're living with insulin resistance. So there you go, friends. The reality is that you can use supplements as crutches, but they are just band-aids for a much bigger issue that needs to be resolved at its root through lifestyle changes. Unless you are addressing the root cause, you're not going to see long lasting results. Thank you very much for watching and please let me know in the comments if you're currently taking berberine or if you have taken it in the past and what was your experience with it. I love learning from you guys and interacting with all of you. Take care.